Hey everyone, it's Louise here from LA Hair Extensions. Today we're putting a quick video together on color matching. We get asked all the time about the different shades in the collection and we just wanted to run through the best ways to ensure that you get the best shade possible for you when purchasing extensions. So if you have any questions, please contact us or comment below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and keep watching. The easiest way to color match your hair and to work out what shade you are is just by purchasing our color ring on our website. This will give you access to all the shades that we sell. So if you are sort of in between colors or you're not 100% sure what color might work for you, this is all the blondes, all the brunettes. Um, obviously, if you're a simple black shade, that's a very easy one to match and you would easily just be able to purchase the black on the website. However, you, if you are a combination of colors or, for example, blondes can be a bit tricky to match sometimes, then we definitely recommend you buying one of these. I'm the Bel Air Blonde. So for me, when I hold up number 60 Bel Air Blonde to my ponytail, you'll see that this is a great color match. There are a couple of other blondes in the range. There's the Beverly Hills Blonde, which throws more warmth, and then there's the Silver Shade, which is a much cooler sort of gray tinge to it. So, you know, with the help of this color ring, I can match the perfect shade for me, and from there I can purchase the extensions. Color matching our clip-in extensions is super easy. If you've been on the website and seen, or you've purchased a set before, you'll notice that each set comes with a color matching piece. The sets are two compartments in the pack. So the top compartment is a full set of extensions, so 220 grams worth. And the bottom compartment is not security sealed, and it's for taking out this bottom piece and color matching with your hair to ensure that you purchase the right shade. If you haven't, you can return the set and exchange it for another color. However, if you have, after opening it up and seeing if it matches, you'll be able to open up the top set and, and wear it out as per usual. So when I open up this bottom piece, it's in a little hairnet and you'll notice that you can just unravel it and dangle it right down. You can unclip it off the backing and you can clip it in your hair, wear it through, make sure that it matches with the ends. And if it does, then away you go. It's super important to remember that when you're color matching extensions, that you're matching the ends of your hair with the extensions. It goes without saying that if you were to match the root color or some of the colors that um, are in the mids of your hair, which happens often for ladies who are foiled and things like that, that while you might have a really nice blend through the middle of it, the ends won't actually match into what the extensions are then continuing. Extensions at the end of the day create thickness and extend the length of your hair. So what you really need to make sure of is at the end of your hair, it flows in perfectly with the extensions. A perfect example of this is my hair. So we'll use me as an example. I have some pretty intense root action happening here. I'm naturally brown and I haven't been to, I'm naturally very dark brown actually, and I haven't been to the hairdresser in a few weeks. So if I were to match extensions with my roots, that would be absolutely disastrous and I'd look disgusting. And also if I were to match with the middle part of my hair where there is some, a few different shades of blonde happening, what would happen is when it gets to really platinum through my bun and through my ponytail, it would not flow through in with the extensions. So I'd be doing myself a huge disservice. So I really need to be matching the last one or two centimeters of my ends with the extensions to ensure that it's just gonna flow seamlessly and there's gonna be a beautiful blend. So I've taken the piece that was in those extensions that I opened up before. Now this is the Beverly Hills Blonde. This is number 22. And I'm actually normally number 60, which is the Bel Air Blonde. So this is a little warmer um, than the Bel Air Blonde, the color that I usually am. But I'll, I'll show you and I'll show you what I mean, okay? So through my ponytail, through my bun, this is the color that I'm really wanting to match. Now, you might not be able to see very well, but this is actually throwing a little bit more golden than what I like. So this is just one shade too dark. So what I would be doing is I'd be going down to the lighter shade, which is the Bel Air Blonde, and that would be matching in perfectly with my hair. 
So what I've done is I've gone and grabbed the color ring again. And as you can see, I have number 60 here. So number 60 is the Bel Air Blonde that I was telling you about. This is my color. And as you can see, this is slightly lighter than the Beverly Hills Blonde was, the number 22. And this will match in perfectly with my bun. So when I get down to the end of my hair, which is about two shoulder length, the ends are just going to match in beautifully with this. And this is just gonna be able to extend it down so that no one can tell I'm actually wearing extensions. When you mix up a couple of colors in the application to create an overall lighter look or something like that, it actually saves your own hair from needing to be dyed to match that color. So extensions are a great option for people who maybe are wanting to give their own hair a break from coloring and you can achieve a splash of color or a splash of lightness or you know, pushing the limit with a certain shade a little bit more than you can normally simply because once 100 to 150 grams of hair has been applied, your hair starts overall looking that color. So with Sophie, for example, while she was the 1822 shade naturally, we threw in the 60 to just start making it look a little bit lighter. And it meant that she doesn't have to go to the hairdresser, you know, to get more foiling or more, you know, bleaching of her existing hair, which obviously causes breakage and causes weaker, you know, more destroyed hair. She's able to avoid that whole process just by adding in some colors. So that's what we did. And I'll show the photos. It actually created a beautiful overall look. It looked really fantastic. It's easy to think that sometimes you don't have the right color when in actual fact, all you need to do is maybe buy a little bit more hair, but just buy it in a slightly different shade so that you create a really beautiful blend. Also keep in mind that you do usually have lighter hair around the hairline because it's finer, it gets more sun exposure, and it is often shorter because it gets styled the most and it can kind of break off quite easily sometimes. So you wanna try and get application of extensions as close to your hairline as possible so that the pieces that you know are falling naturally of your own hair here blend in with the bulk of the extensions that you've applied. So whether it means that you just try and bring it closer to your hairline or you apply a slightly lighter color around your hairline um, and that can be achieved with tapes and nano tips. So especially say for example, if you're a weft extension wearer and you wanna wear weft extensions, think about maybe buying a pack of tapes or a pack of nano tips, which both come in 50 grams. So they're in a smaller pack and maybe get it in a slightly lighter shade or just buy a few of them so that you can place them around the hairline so that your natural hair flows in beautifully with the extensions. So this wasn't a long video, but I hope it had some information in it that will help you color match your extensions so that they blend in seamlessly and beautifully with your own hair. If you have any questions, please comment below or send us a message via the website. Otherwise, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel, stay tuned for future videos, and until next time, bye.